Hey everybody, I'm back again due to the fact that uh, we had some technical difficulty. I just wanted to uh, take a couple minutes and let you guys see how this card turned out. And I figured I would ink on it a little bit since I'm going to be doing that anyway. And uh, just wanted to let everybody catch up. Sorry about that, I didn't know. Um, I didn't get a notice on it or anything like that. So, I came back on to give you guys a couple of minutes to see exactly what's going on with this thing and how it turned out. When I posted, <laughs> it said, uh, okay, catch you guys tomorrow. And I was like, okay. So, hopefully we're getting a stronger feed here and uh, getting to see it. Do me a favor and post you guys if you can. Let me know that you can see me. Uh, and that everything's working okay because I got a bad Facebook connection and it uh, dropped me and I did not know I'm using a 5 micron here to uh, hash this out because these are such big lines anyway. Because I have an animated style, so it's a lot thicker line. And I do the finer stuff on my comic pages. Um, with a 3 or even a 2 in some cases. But, and I have the 1 and, and 1 half, which is pretty cool those double zero fives are really really neat but the tips are so small and I'm so heavy-handed I have to be careful because I bleed them badly I mash the uh, tips and then when I go to use them next time they bleed all over the page not good not good at all But yeah, this guy came out all right. I like I said, this is a great character. I've drawn him hundreds and hundreds of times, literally hundreds of times, and uh, I always come out of it uh, very excited about comics because of the fact this this character is very underutilized. And don't hold me to it, but I think Marvel killed him off. Um, here recently recently being a couple years I think they killed him for Civil War 1 or shortly thereafter when he had the uh, Felicia Hardy Spider-Man love triangle going on I think he sacrificed himself to save her is what it was if I remember that right But anyway, <clears throat> just inking this up really quick so that you guys can see it and uh, I can stay on point with my inking duties for these cards. I did not realize I was that far behind on inking and coloring these things for you guys. I <laughs> I have 27, we're over 60, and I have 27 uh, cards that still need to be colored, and I inked 22 of those last night, and I was just like, wow, okay, I need to get on the ball here. Slacker, darn you doing paid comic work, man, but no, um, I'm catching up for you guys very quickly, matter of fact, I'm going to be coloring on this one along with that set this afternoon and I'm going to be knocking out like I said 20 or so cards for you they're all going to be posted up pretty soon pretty soon so I'm really digging it 
I don't know if you saw my uh, my bullseye card, but uh, I I had a guy message me this morning saying that he wanted to turn it into a tattoo. I was like, um, you want to put my artwork on your skin? But, uh, <laughs> I mean, I've done that for friends and stuff, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's an honor, man. That's an honor. That's somebody's flesh. <laughs> That's a big deal. But, uh, I don't know if he'll do it or not. We'll see. He says he's going to do it and then send me pictures and stuff, and I was like, if you want to do it, man, you do it. Well, my, my tattoo guy wants me to get a copyright notice from you, and I was like, okay, send me the email. You know how that, you guys know how that stuff works. You got to get permission and all that, and I was like, okay, whatever. If you want to put it on your skin, you go right ahead. It amazes me. Very, very cool. I say that not to brag. I say it because of the fact that it shocked me. So. That's very humbling. So. Anyway. I'm rambling on here. I'm just picking lines at random and kind of shaping this out a little bit. Building it up. Getting it knocked out. Hopefully Facebook is working with me. I'm putting these fangs here. I know this pin's a little heavy for that but we're going to do it anyway. Alright. Yeah, this is an awesome character. I really, really dig this guy. And I'm glad they decided to make him a hero, um, even if it's an anti-hero type situation. I'm glad they made him that way instead of leaving him a, a hardcore villain, because that's not what he was about. Even when he fought Spider-Man, he wasn't originally he wasn't uh, a villain. He was a vigilante, trying to save his people. Which is all good. You know, do your thing. If it if that's what you gotta do. And I think he's one of the underestimated characters that could really be a powerhouse if he was given the opportunity. That's why I wrote the miniseries that I did. And uh, like I said, unfortunately I was in talks with a couple of editors, but that kind of thing happens all the time. It just, it didn't work out with the storyline that they were pursuing with Civil War coming out, so it didn't work out. But, life goes on. More comics to come. Awesome. All right. Cool deal. I think this is going to work out all right. Um, let me see here. We got about 10 minutes on this one. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. And uh, like I said, I just wanted to let you guys have a few minutes to see what was going on. And... Uh, because Facebook hiccuped and we lost the penciling video. I wanted to make sure everybody got enough time to see a little bit of this. So, 
I think that's about long enough. That's why some of my timing on my videos is a little off when I say I'm going to post and, you know, be on at so-and-so time and then, you know, glitches happen and videos get lost and Facebook munches them down and then I have to go back on to show everybody what was going on and what I did for this card so we can see it instead of getting an eight second, hey, see you tomorrow. <laughs> that was hilarious. <clears throat> but as I said uh, since the video didn't pick it up I'll tell you again tomorrow for the 4th of July physical holiday I am going for uh, Electro from Spider-Man the original Sinister Six green and yellow suit version uh, very classic model Electro it won't be the Jamie Foxx uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 version. He looks too much like Kilowatt for me. Um, I just don't, uh, I don't dig that character incarnation because the movie was good, but I don't like that, ad that adaptation for the character because he just, like I said, he reminds me too much of Kilowatt, which is uh, another DC character. So... Kilowatt was part of the uh, 80's Teen Titans he was the electrical version of the, the Human Torch if you have to put him in into a category kind of thing so that's exactly what he was he was the Human Torch made into blue electricity for a DC character so I'm going to do up this line right here, and I'm going to call it, and I'll finish this up for you, and post it here soon, so you guys will be able to see what's going on, but like I said, I wanted to go back and make a couple of minutes of allowing you guys to see what's going on, and uh, we'll go from there. See you tomorrow.